Are you ready to have some lit party? Pool, outdoors, indoors, beaches, mountains, or possibly anywhere you can think of. Today I've noted down the best Bluetooth speakers, the latest and unbeatable values in the current market. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these products, you can check out the links in the description below. Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom – Best Waterproof The Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom is a medium-sized speaker meant to be placed horizontally, though you can also place it vertically. It comes with a built-in carrying handle to help with transporting it. The Anchor Soundcore Motion Boom outdoor speaker is amazingly portable. It's battery powered and has a built-in carrying handle, so you can easily carry it with one hand and take it outdoors with you when you're on the go. It's mostly made of plastic and feels pretty solid, though its finish doesn't give it a very premium look. It's rated IPX7 for water resistance, so it's certified to be immersible in a meter of water for up to 30 minutes. There are passive radiators located on either side of the speaker for the bass, and its drivers are protected by a metal grill. It has an IPX7 rating, which means it's fully waterproof when the cover for the back compartment is closed. It can be submerged for up to a meter for 30 minutes. Even though Bluetooth audio can't survive underwater, the point is the sound core motion boom can be used in rain or rinsed without any issue. It's also worth noting the speaker can float, making it ideal for pool parties. Exclusive technology uses an in-house tuned digital signal processor to analyze and intensify low frequencies in real time for bass that hits harder. I wouldn't call the motion boom sonically excellent under any circumstance, but the EQ saved the day as far as I was concerned. It has about the 4 hour mark. Anchor claims 24 hours of runtime and 4 hours to a full charge. This of course will drop if you use the Motion Boom's battery to charge your phone. Pros Powerful audio for the size with rich lows and crisp definition. Waterproof design and floats in water. Whereas for the cons, not for audio purists for those seeking massive bass. Ultimate Ears Wonder Room 2 Best Budget Wonder Boom 2 is designed nearly identical save for the updated elastic loop and the outdoor boost button located on the bottom panel. Just like before, this tapered cylinder floats, meaning music can emanate from the middle of your pool party. It houses two 40mm drivers and two passive radiators, which is enough to make waves. The sides of the Wonder Boom are covered in a sturdy fabric grill with large plus and minus buttons, a UV Boom series design staple. The top of the speaker holds small power and pairing buttons each with their own indicator LEDs. Here's also a new boost button on the underside of the unit for using the Wonder Boom 2 outdoors. When pressed, the restricts the bass frequencies, allowing the UE to play louder through the mid-range and upwards. This is claimed to make the sound easier to hear when the unit is used outdoors. Battery life has been increased to 13 hours, from the 10 hour of the original Wonder Boom, and a full charge still takes just under 3 hours. Not only is the new model waterproof and designed to float as the original was, it's also sand and dust proof thanks to a full IP67 rating. Handy if the Wonder Boom 2 ends up being half buried on your picnic or beach party. Pros, weighty bass, long battery life, outdoor sound mod. Whereas for the cons, no microphone and distortion increases with volume. Sonos Roam, best value. If there's an obvious first impression of the Sonos Room, then there is, it's this. This thing is tiny, much smaller than I would have thought watching the virtual launch. It's even small by Bluetooth speaker standards. Last year, I was eyeing a pair of GBL Charge 4 speakers that our favorite restaurant was using for a pandemic era outdoor seating area, and those speakers are quite a bit bigger than the Sonos Roam. The Roam lifts up the Sonos reputation for quality sound. Its audio performance punches way beyond its weight and size, producing some of the clearest, crispest, and most well-balanced audio even at high volumes that I've heard from a portable speaker. It doesn't have a really thumping bass, and while it is certainly loud enough for personal listening or in small groups, anything louder than 30% while on the table in front of you is really more than enough. It isn't up to smashing out the beats for a large outdoor party. The Roam lasts for about 10 hours of playback on battery, on Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, which is a bit short of key Bluetooth speaker competition, but more than enough for a day's music in the park or around the house. You can see battery life in the Sonos app on Wi-Fi or as the voice assistant, but there's no way to see it on Bluetooth other than a blinking LED when the battery is low. Pros, full bodied sound, lots of features and portable. Whereas for the cons, clarity not exceptional. Bang & Olufsen Bio Sound A1, second generation, best compact. 
The Bio Sound A1 boasts similar dimensions to a large flurry bag or English muffin. Thanks to its stunning pearl blasted aluminum chassis or pink A1 shimmers with a hue not unlike the premium mystic bronze finish of Samsung Galaxy Note fame. The included USB-C charging cable is the same shade too, albeit in tactile rubber, a typically higher end touch. Another great use for the speaker is as a speakerphone. Thanks to a 3 mic array, voices sound crisp and clear to those on the other end of the call. And with its form factor and a true 360 audio, you can use it like a conference phone if you want. When I received the unit, I thankfully had some company to try it on. In fact, I first got a chance to listen to it at a beach house with family and when I placed it in the middle of the table and started playing DJ, everyone fell silent. That's because the Bang & Olufsen A1 second gen doesn't sound like a portable speaker. Instead of the somewhat nasal quality uh, that most portable speakers have by design, the A1 sounds like a full-fledged hi-fi system. That's to say that it sounds quality will blow you away. Battery life is an odd one here as although BNO says the new A1 offers longer playback, the main quartered figure is 18 hours compared to 24 of the original. However, the firm says you can get up to 48 hours at a lower volume level. I found battery life to be solid and on the first charge, my Windows PC was reporting 100% for a long time and only dropped to 90% after around 6 hours of use, unless you're blasting the speaker for a party. Pros: Excellent sound quality, premium design and build, decent app with EQ, and good battery life. Whereas for the cons, voice assistant finicky to set up and use, and no real stereo sound. GBL Charge 5 – Best Portable GBL logo on the Charge 5 is much larger and looks more like the one on the GBL Extreme 3. It's fairly small and is meant to be placed horizontally on its base, and its power, Bluetooth and battery indicator lights light up when the speaker is on. It comes in many different colors, so you can choose one that suits your style. Charge 5 is incredibly portable. The small lightweight speaker can be carried in one hand making it easy to take when you're on the move. It's also battery powered so you can take it outdoors with you without needing to connect it to an outlet. On tracks with intense sub-bass content like the Knife, Silent Shout and Charge 5 delivers palpable low frequency depth. The drivers may not be able to reach all the way down to the deepest lows, but the passive radiators do a laudable job of recreating the thumb. The addition of a tweeter adds a touch of extra high frequency clarity to the mix and at top volumes things don't distort, nor does the DSP seem to thin the bass out in an overwhelming manner. The GBL Charge 5 has an official 20 hours battery life which we'll put to the test as soon as we get the speaker into our testing chamber. We can tell you that it charges via USB-C and takes 4 hours to completely fill up. That's right, no fast charging here. Pros: Powerful bass forward bright sound signature, gets loud for its relatively compact size and fully waterproof design. Whereas for the cons, requires 2 units for its stereo sound and compression artifacts at max volume. And with that being said, we reached the bottom of this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have any questions about the products mentioned in this video, you can leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Until the next video, stay safe, take care and peace out.